Hey guys, uh, James here, and I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing how to uh, spotlight a genuine Motorcraft uh, injector control pressure sensor for the 7.3 Power Stroke. Now you can see I got a lot of uh, a lot of sensors here. Um, most of them I got off eBay. Uh, a couple of them are off Amazon, and then one of them was from Pro Source Diesel, which actually is my preferred sensor over a Motocraft one, but I'll show you why here in just a moment. So if you were to look at each one of these sensors, you might be thinking like, oh, those look pretty similar, you know, besides for the color of the O-ring, they're all, you know, pretty, uh, pretty standard affair. So it's actually pretty easy to tell what a genuine Motocraft sensor looks like. So, uh, just to have a trusted example of what a Motocraft sensor looks like, I went ahead and purchased one from Riff Raff, which is obviously a trusted source. And this, as you can see, here's the international, this is the bag that it came in the packaging. You can see that it's a international harvester or Navistar, basically, you know, the creator of the 7.3 Power Stroke. Uh, and the 6.0 and the 6.4, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, so this is a genuine sensor for the truck. I'm going to open up this packaging and I'm going to show you the genuine sensor here. Which is actually one of these is also genuine. See if you can give you a second to see if you can identify which one you think is the uh, genuine one. I know you guys don't have the biggest viewpoint of it from that vantage point, but... So, believe it or not, it is... Not this one, just kidding. It's this one right here. Uh, this one was the one actually I pulled out of my truck um, a couple months ago. And this was one that had been put in by the Ford dealership. As you can see, um, the reason that I ended up needing to replace it is because it was on, uh, it's on its way out, if you can see that little, yeah, see that? Not supposed to be able to do that, but yeah, this is a genuine Motocraft one as well. Alright, so the way you can tell that's not on any of these other ones over here, is it's nothing to do with the shape of the sensor or the size in the hole in the bottom, despite that being different on a lot of them or anything like that. So on a genuine Motocraft sensor, here's the genuine one. You see that little paint spot right there? And you see how it's on this one too? And you're not going to find that on any of the knockoff ones. I guess it must be something either they don't haven't developed the type of paint that can last permanently or they just haven't caught on to that yet but you're not going to see that little dollop of paint on any other sensor the other thing is on the plastic part as well up here see if you can see this you see how on this sorry if it's kind of hard to see there let's see if we can get that to focus there we go see how it says made in mexico right there it's not going to say that on any of the other sensors and just to show it on the one I just got, um, just got from Riff Raff here. See? There it is right there. And that's not going to be on, and if, and if any of these other sensors are not going to have that on them. So lastly, what I wanted to show, um, a third thing, if you needed a third thing, is that the serial number on them is going to be etched in. It's etched into the metal. Whereas on the knockoff ones, where is it? This one's kind of hard to see. See if you can see right there. Yeah, there we go. See, it's printed on there. Whereas on the genuine one, it is it is etched into it. 
See? And then some of them, like this one, don't have uh, any serial number at all on them. So. so the last thing I wanted to show you was, this is actually from ProSource Diesel. And the rest of these sensors cost anywhere from 10 to $50. And they all four of them were advertised as being genuine Motocraft sensors. They are not. So. so the reason that I like this one, even over the Motocraft sensor, this is the one I got from ProSource Diesel, <clears throat> and it's made by a company called Zibix, I believe. And now the reason that I like this one is as far as the way that it's uh, crafted, if you've ever dealt with any of these sensors before, usually they use some sort of RTV, some sort of sealant goop. Like here, look, you can pretty much look at any of the other ones. See that right there? That right there? Even on the Motocraft ones. You see that goop they use? Zibix, this company uses um, some sort of laser etching, I believe. Some sort of metal way that they join the two pieces. And I really like the construction on that. So... That's kind of, and this is about a hundred bucks. The genuine Motocraft one was a hundred and sixty from Riff Raff. This one's a hundred bucks, and the rest of these ones like anywhere from ten to fifty dollars. So they're pretty much all the same. Not to say that all of these are garbage, but um, I'm guessing at some point or another you would have an issue with them a lot sooner than you would with either the uh, Motocraft or the Zibix one. So yeah, so just keep in mind the paint spot. The made in Mexico on the stem here, and then the etching in the serial number. And yep, you should be spotting counterfeits in no time. Alright, see you guys.